Simon's going with his uh, black caps, right? <laughs> he's still, always. he's <laughs> always supporting New Zealand. And when you're talking about so supporting New Zealand, yeah. Sorry, is this is this black cap going to play or no? That's Every the Amara, question, right? That's Amara the question. Everybody Every, in our Hyderabad is asking that only. So, uh, Where so is your black Simon, cap? Simon, you know about so obviously there was what is it a tendon in the elbow or the yeah. strain or something? What is Kane Williamson's exact injury? And if you have any update, because Trevor Bayless did say after the first game that we're looking at playing him, but uh, two games we haven't seen him. We don't know whether he'll be here for game three or not. Yeah, he obviously missed those games in New Zealand, the T20 um, internationals at the back end of the season. It, it's been an ongoing issue, that uh, that elbow issue, the tendonitis. So they're managing it, but um, I think I think they need him. I think in particularly in Chennai, they need a player of his quality up against the spin. Now, how do they do it? So if you're going to say he, he needs to come in, then we have to leave somebody out. Okay, sadly, that has to be Mohamed Nabi. Um, I, I think he's he's the one that has to go, and Johnny Best. But, but he didn't play the last game. Sorry, he didn't. Nabi um, didn't play the last game. They had Holder yeah, and Holden Rashid, and then Rashid. they had Besto and uh, Captain Warner. And Warner. So Jason Holder has to go on the, on these turning tracks. Jason Holder has to go. Sorry. So he he's got to, he's got to be left out. I think. And if they want to get the runs, they've got to find a way to just jig that team around a little bit better, and get Williamson in at number four, and Johnny Besto has got to go back to the top. To me. That was the most successful time for um, for Hyderabad in the last three years, was Warner and Besto at the top of the order. So why are you trying to reinvent the wheel? Why are you trying to do something different? Uh, it just, it, 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 sometimes they do things for the sake of doing things rather than the right thing, or, or perhaps they're just not thinking about it. And there's some smart people involved at Hyderabad. Yeah. Right? So I just don't get it. May I part present the counterpoint? Be, sorry, part of the reason could be that Ridiman Saha was giving them flyers at the top, you know, yeah. scoring very quick 25s, 30s, giving them those flyers. And I mean, it, it's my theory. I've been propagating it from day one, and I hope I'm wrong. Is that Besto realizes he's going to come back here in October and bat number four for England. So he's asked to bat number four. Uh, unless they think, look, when Williamson comes in, Besto won't be playing. Yeah. And this is our opening partnership. Warner Saha yeah. is our opening partnership going, going ahead. So let's keep that as the opening partnership. So it, it could be either of those two, but I'm completely yeah. with Dooley here. You see Warner and Besto coming out, and you think one of them gets it big. That's That could be the game there. Yeah. So Warner Besto comes in, you've got the class of Williamson. So you can allow Manish Pandey the little sandwich in between. Then, actually, I wouldn't mind looking at Kedar Jadav, though Dooley's friend Stephen Fleming might just <laughs> fall over because he didn't do anything for Chennai. And they'll need a second Indian spinner. They've either got to look at a Suchit. I don't think Nadeem Nadi had two good overs, two bad overs. Maybe a Suchit. And then uh, they're, they're set with Vijay Shankar as a sixth bowler. So, th that's the thing, right? I mean, it's just seeming like it's pointing to the direction of it's a problem of plenty, first of all, for Hyderabad because you've got such class and let's not even talk about Jason Roy who they bought and they put on the bench because that will just spread the, the jam just too much. But if you just talk about this problem that they have, which is they definitely need Kane Williamson in the middle, which means that they got the option last year with uh, Riddhiman Saha doing well with uh, one at the top and was giving them flyers. So, Johnny Besto perhaps just a placeholder till Williamson gets fit. And it's sad because Johnny Besto is a world-class player for sure. He'd walk into any T20 team in the world. But this one, with Warner being captain, right? Mm. I mean, that just opens another can of worms where you go, wait a second, if Warner wasn't captain, would you play Besto before Warner uh, in a T20 game? But, well, I mean, that's probably... Yeah. It's, it's a really... I, don't, I think it's more... It's, it's a simple answer. And the simple answer is, what has been your most successful opening combination yeah. in the last three years? And, and that simple answer is, you look at the numbers between Warner and Besto, they have been the most successful combination for Hyderabad. Why are they not batting together? And yeah. then you say, okay, Rudy Masaha, you've got to bat at the end. You just yeah. have to. You've got to bat down the bottom of the order. And, and that's your place now. I'm sorry. Yep, you got us off some flies. But it was nothing compared to the 100-run partnerships and the 50-run partnerships. Yeah. Oh, not bad at all. Or so not bad at all. So you bring in another spinner and Besto keeps. And, and that actually yeah. makes more sense to me.